Hi guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another video. In this one I'm just going to be showing you how your Shimano Rode hydraulic brake works. So if you've ever wondered what's actually inside the um, reservoir and how it works, then I'll just go ahead and I'll show you what's in there. Right, so here we have a lever. Now this just happens to be an Ortigra hydraulic lever. R8020, but it doesn't matter, it could be a 105 R7000 version or the uh, Durace version of the hydraulic lever. Now, if you look, well, I've got the cover on there still, you've got three Torx keys holding it on, the screws, and you've also got your bleed um, cover on the top there. Now, just there, see that? That is the bladder inside you can just see it in there that's the bladder inside of here so if you've got say you pull back your hood and you've got oil coming out of there that means that your bladder's got a hole in it and therefore you're never going to get a good break because you've got oil coming out of there so it's got a hole in it so what I'll do is I'll just remove the three screws they're just torque screws, they got the little um, metal sleeves in there just to stop it being crushed and damaging the cover. So just move these out of the way. Now I can show you inside it, just in case you're wondering what it actually looks like and what it does. Let's get these out. The way. So you've got your plastic cover on the outside like that with your bladder attached to the back of it the bladder comes off like that there's your plastic cover so inside you've got your bladder so you just remove that it's just a rubber bladder what I mean by bladder is it's sealed like that but it's hollow in the middle so that doesn't go anywhere, it's just sealed, it's just like a bag, so to speak. So what that does is goes in there like that, your cover goes on, and then when you pull your lever and let go of it, it's got room for movement because if the bladder wasn't in there and it was it didn't have a hole to atmosphere, you can see on the cover there, there's the hole there, just hollow. So that allows it to go in and out when you're pulling the lever and releasing it. it creates the air going in and out of that little hole, only a tiny amount. But if you didn't have that and it was sealed, if that cover was completely sealed tight and it didn't have a bladder inside it, you wouldn't be able to use the brake because the reservoir would be full up, your line would be full up and your caliper would be full up. So when you pull it, there's no room for it to move. It would just be rock hard. You couldn't against the, the piston, the pressure, it couldn't go anywhere when you when it's forcing it. It's literally against the, all the oil in there. It would be bled up and you couldn't you couldn't pull it on. It would just be hard to pull. You couldn't do anything with it. That's why it's got the hole in it. And it couldn't have a hole just directly in the cap, say on the, the bleed screw at the top, because if it did have a hole directly in there allowing for air to go in and out and it wasn't sealed that means as soon as you tipped your bike or led your bike on the floor or or mounted your bike on the wall to hang it up all the oil would just pour out the hole so that's why it is sealed but it's not a fully sealed system so to speak it's just sealed to the atmosphere so no contaminants and dirt can get in but air can through that hole so that's why if you get a little hole in this bladder then it comes out that little hole in the cover just there so that's what they look like inside. Like you've got your bladder there like that. The reservoir is only that big inside. There's the back of it. And if you look closely, just there, there's two tiny holes about the size of a pinhead there. Ever so small. One slightly bigger hole than the other one. You can barely make them out, they're so small. Obviously that's what allows the fluid to go in and out of the reservoir, because this is just sealed apart from those two little holes there. Now, when you're bleeding it, 
So you've got it mounted to your bike like so. And if it's with the funnel on there, so it's upright. If you think when it's upright, you see the two holes there, it's a fluid in there like that. That's why you tilt it just slightly down and slightly up in the air ever so slightly, just in case there's any air trapped anywhere in here. And not just in here, but in the actual um, s cylinder where the piston's going up and down as well. Anywhere in there, the fluid goes in there as well, and so does the air. So that's to eliminate the air in there and just in here. So you, that's why you just tilt it up and down a bit, just to help get the air out, because the the part that's doing the work, all this down here, is just your shifter mechanism down the bottom here, under this cover, and if you look when you pull your lever on, say, if you pull your lever, and you look, you can see it very well, but it, just here, there's a cylinder shape there. So that's where your piston goes up and down in this cylinder shape here. So that's all it is and you can see it at the bottom there. It moves if you look. It just goes round as you pull it on. It goes round and pushes the piston up the cylinder like that as you pull that on. It has the opposite effect on here. So it pushes it up and as you let go it comes that down like that so up and then off so that's a quick look inside it like i'll do i'll demonstrate it with the um with the bladder in there and i'll remove the bladder and cover it over as if it was completely sealed to the atmosphere right here we have the lever in standard configuration all i've done is put the bolt in there to block off the oil what we've done is we bled it up as it would normally be and as you can see the lever still works and returns as it would normally. Right so as you see what I've done is I'll replace the bladder that would be in there normally now with a piece of clean film in there so in other words the hole that would normally be there lets the air in and out in the bladder slightly is blocked so it's now a sealed effectively a sealed unit so in other words when you pull the brake on now it doesn't do anything because obviously it's the pistons pushing against the fluid but it can't return so your brake you wouldn't do anything now because that's what that is what the bladder's doing it's letting air through the little hole there so in other words the system's not sealed fully now it's fully sealed there so your brake wouldn't do anything so if you found the video helpful if you did remember to give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel for more cycle related content till next one ride safe and i'll see you then